What do you expect when you visit someplace new? Take Pensacola, Florida, for example. If you've never been here, you might think it's a typical Florida tourist town with a nice beach. Nothing wrong with that, but Pensacola is a whole lot more. Start with history. The word Pensacola comes from the name of a local Native American tribe. Pensacola is the oldest European settlement in North America. It was founded on August 15, 1559, six years before the founding of St. Augustine, the oldest permanent European settlement in North America. The key word is permanent. Spanish explorers had scouted the area years before and thought Pensacola Bay would make a great place for a settlement. Don Tristan de Luna brought 1,500 people from Mexico aboard 11 ships. On September 19th, a month after landing, a hurricane struck, killing hundreds and sinking six of de Luna's ships. The survivors struggled to hang on, but ultimately had to abandon the settlement. Spanish authorities deemed the area too dangerous and didn't come back until 1689, 130 years later. They returned because the French seemed interested in expanding their empire into Florida. The Spanish built a fort on what is now the site of U.S. Naval Air Station Pensacola. The U.S. Army expanded the old Spanish fort, calling it Fort Barrancas. NAS Pensacola was built in 1914. It's the very first Naval Air Station. Today, it's the home of the Navy's precision flying team, the Blue Angels. Since it opened, tens of thousands of naval aviators have owned their wings here. The air station has an outstanding naval air museum with 150 restored military aircraft from the Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. Unfortunately, for security reasons, the air station and museum are no longer accessible to civilians. Efforts are being made to come up with a secure way for visitors to once again tour the museum. Fort Barrancas is open to the public. It's now part of the national park system. Pensacola has a long military tradition. One of the city's nicknames is the City of Five Flags. Spain, France, Great Britain, the United States after the War of 1812, then the Confederate States of America during the American Civil War, then back to the United States after the war. In 1994, the city built a beautiful veterans memorial on the Bayfront. The park includes a number of memorials, including the country's first replica of the wall, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington. Pensacola is a charming town with a population of about 55,000. The architecture is more reminiscent of New Orleans than anything you'll find in Florida. The historic district is filled with quaint homes, squares, and churches like Old Christ Church, built in 1832, over a decade before Florida became the 27th state admitted to the Union in 1845. You can explore historic Pensacola, which covers eight and a half acres, including 28 historic buildings that will allow you to experience how the people lived. If you want to see how the people live here today, Check out the Palifax Street Market on Saturdays. It's part farmer's market, part craft and art show, with lots of great food vendors. In the evening, you can stop by the garden on Palifax for some food truck action and dancing. Pensacola has a quirky local landmark called the Graffiti Bridge. It's an old CSX railroad bridge on 17th Street. People have been leaving their mark on it since 1935. It even has its own Facebook page and website. It's gone from vandalism to a beloved community art project. I've saved the best for last. Pensacola Beach. It's located on Santa Rosa Island and has, without question, some of the most beautiful white sugar sand of any beach in the world. It's connected to the mainland by bridges. The island belongs to the federal government, who allows private owners to purchase 99-year leases. Pensacola Beach is a very popular spring break destination. This part of the Florida Panhandle is sometimes referred to as Lower Alabama. It's also called the Redneck Riviera. 
is very popular with people from Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Mobile is just 30 miles to the west. Pensacola is about 150 miles from New Orleans, about the same distance to Florida's capital, Tallahassee. Pensacola is very different from most Florida cities. It's even in the central time zone, making Florida one of only 13 states sharing two time zones. So what can you expect from Pensacola? Beautiful beaches, rich history, the Blue Angels, a long naval aviation heritage, a vibrant downtown, and lots of friendly people. Whatever your expectations, Pensacola will very likely exceed them. Time to travel. This is Phil Dean in Pensacola, Florida.